It's absolutely beautiful out here. If you're not in Oregon, <laughs> I think you're missing out. So this is the middle of January and I'm out crabbing. So just by myself, kids in school. It's pretty nice, very warm, short sleeves. And uh, so I thought I'd do a little video about crabbing, but there's also a tugboat pulling a big barge full of wood chips, which I've been kind of wanting to get a little video on one of those. So kind of, I'll get a little bit of two things at once today. So anyways, here's my little uh, little boat I've got. It's just a little 14 and a half foot uh, aluminum boat. Uh, just a covered bow with a locked compartment up in front. Of course, there's the container for my crab, things like that. And I got a little uh, fish finder right there. It works pretty good, kind of lets me know what's going on down below and how shallow I'm, water I'm working in and things like that. Um, got a little steering console. And uh, in the back here, two seats and a little outboard. Got a new outboard this year. It's pretty nice, Yamaha 20 horse. It's been ideal. Electric start, which is a dream. <laughs> if you've never had one, you're, you, and you ever have one, you can't go back. <laughs> so anyway, got our uh, fuel canister back here for about three something gallons. I uh, got our starting battery and I run a, a trolling motor off of there every now and then, but not too much. So pretty simple boat. We've got just kind of from the view up front here it's quite a bit of room I could probably build a floor in there I think that's maybe something I'd like to do but at least for now this is working really good um, I think we're making progress on this uh, barge coming up here so let's just take a look and see what they're doing where's that at there it is so probably uh, probably heading out of the bay um, a lot of these barges are winding up going uh, Pacific Rim countries. A lot of the, the wood chips wind up going to Japan. So I'm not sure where this one's going. I can probably look it up and you can track all of these ocean going vessels. You just put in there, you find the ship and you, you can go online and there's all kinds of tracking websites. And uh, they'll tell you right where things are going and how fast they are. It's, it's actually kind of neat. So I don't know how it works. Maybe it's just an automatic GPS locator system. but. So they're moving along pretty good uh, with those chips. Um, got a single tug, uh, probably pulling a dual chain off the front of the front of the barge, coming together in a Y to a single uh, cable or chain to the back of the tug. <clears throat> and you can see it's pushing up a, a fair amount of water in front of that uh, front of that barge there. But that's a lot of wood chips, <laughs> a lot of wood chips. Um, that's not nearly as big though as the big uh, bulk container ships that come in and get completely filled uh, with an internal cargo hold and they, they just absolutely fill those things up close the doors and, those, and they just take off so I don't know capacity wise which one's bigger but in any case that's a lot of wood chips um, so this is I don't have a name on this one but we'll kind of check it out here in just a little bit uh, let's see who we're dealing with um, some of these tugs, a lot of the ocean going ones are from Sauce Brothers. They have a maritime shipping company where they generally are pulling cargo from here uh, up and down the west coast, Alaska probably, and uh, especially to Hawaii where one of their main stations there. So I'm not sure if I can kind of get this locked in here. Not too hard, uh, not too easy bobbing around. If, uh, let's see. something nice from. I'll have to look that up when I get at home. I can't really see it very good on this little screen. But anyway, there you go. Coming right along, looking good. It's hard to say where they're headed, but like I said, we can look that up later. So they've got a crew, probably four or five on board. Um, especially if they're going to go to Hawaii, they need a, you know, that's about a 10 day trip, I think, uh, to get over there. And so they got to, you know, of course they're constantly moving and they got to eat and work on the tug and keep track of all the um, information about the ship and logging information, I'm sure. Uh, and so there's their tug. It's probably got 100 yards uh, between the tug and the, and the barge. And so there you can kind of see that barge. I, 
I don't know if I'll be able to get a name on that or not, but a lot of times they're named, you can track them as well. So, who knows? Maybe somebody knows how many, how many tons of wood chips that thing holds. Uh, so I imagine they stack it up pretty high. Um, it'll shift down uh, against the sides of that uh, sides of that barge, so it'll settle lower, but it'll fill in more. And I think that's why they're not up to capacity, because otherwise it'd just be washing off and a little disturbance there, and you'd lose a lot of cargo. And somebody's paying for all that. And they sure don't want to give it away. So there you go. Here's our good friend, tugboat and barge of wood chips. See if I can get a little better, a little better video of that thing. Like I said, it's kind of hard. I'm bobbing around here in the bay, so it's hard to get a nice steady shot here. I'm gonna rely on my um, my video camera to stabilize. So there we go. They're clipping right along. And there's, you can see kind of how it's pushing on the bow there. Um, pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty massive amount of sh chips there. By no means the largest, but still substantial. There you go. Douglas fir, positively gonna be Douglas fir. I don't think they're commercially shipping anything else. That's what we have a lot of. We've got a lot of alder too, but I don't think they're chipping that much. Not that I know of.